Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the items that I picked up during the month of April, so stick around. So during the month of April, we did have some really good releases that came out. We've got some big name titles. We had a bunch of sales going on, so I did pick up quite a few items. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and get started to show you what all I got. Um, first up, I did pick up VHS 94. Heard a lot of great things about this one, so very happy that I was able to get this one. Plus, it has a slip cover. Um, I got the Humans from A24. Definitely need to still check this one out. Heard a lot of good things. Same way with Come On, Come On. Um, this is another A24 film that I need to check out. I also picked up one called Last Looks. Didn't really hear much about this one. Um, it does have Mel Gibson in it, so I wanted to check this one out. One that I heard a lot of good things about is called Vicious Fun. So here's a Shutter original. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I just need to take the time to watch it. And then one of the big releases that we had during the month of April was, of course, Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm very happy that I was able to get the one with the Walmart exclusive slipcover. Probably one of my favorite artworks for this particular film. Um, we did get Chucky Season 1, which I picked up with a slip. I did watch all of Season 1, really enjoyed it. I thought it was more brutal. Um, and more adult oriented than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm very happy that they went there. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check out season um, one before season two starts. One of the recent releases that came out is Moonfall. I did get the Target exclusive lenticular slipcover um, edition. Haven't seen the movie yet. I've heard mixed reviews. Um, I did pick up Primal Fear. This is one that I didn't have in the collection. And um, for whatever reason, it came to my mind that I needed to add it. So I went ahead and added that one to the collection. I really enjoyed this film. Definitely look forward to a revisit of this one. Um, one that I wasn't able to get. I guess this, I don't know if this came out during the month of April or if it actually came out in late March. But I finally was able to get my order um, received for The Accused. I've always enjoyed this movie. Um, Jodie Foster and Kelly McGillis give great performances in this one. Um, if you've never seen The Accused, that's one that you should always... Um, that's one that you should check out. Um, I picked up Like Father, Like Son. Um, I found out that they had um, reissued this one. I know I had the Mill Creek Edition. Um, and there was something going on with the Mill Creek Edition that wasn't so good. So um, I purchased this particular edition because I heard it was a little bit better. Probably don't need to have two of these in the collection, but now I do. Um, a recent film that I picked up is He Said, She Said. I've always enjoyed Kevin Bacon. And I do remember enjoying this film um, back when it first came out. I think in the early 90s. I remember me and my wife seeing this one. I really enjoyed it. Another one that was a recommendation is one called First Born. Um, I, I heard that this was going out of print. And so I wanted to add it to the collection. Um, I've heard some really good things about it. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. I also picked up the Target exclusive edition for Spider-Man No Way Home. Um... And I almost didn't pick this one up just because of what it is. It's, um, it's this packaging here. And then there were four art cards included. And the art cards weren't... There's just a couple of art cards that were actually nice. To me, I think it would have been better if the slip cover would have been clear to where you could put the art cards in the front. Um, but they didn't even make it that way either. They're just art cards. So um, anyway, I picked that version up. I picked up... Um, Rise of the Machine Girls because of the slipcover. Um, I came across this one on Orbit DVD, saw that it was available, so I ordered this. I finally picked up Superman, the complete animated series. I did not have this one in the collection. I wanted to add it to the collection, so very happy that I was finally able to get that one added. Okay, some of the still books that I picked up. I picked up Shooter on 4K. Um, I was very happy that they were releasing this one on 4K. I wish that they would have had a slipcover edition, but they did not. So I had to pick that one up. I also picked up Jack Reacher on 4K. I've always enjoyed this film. Um, so very happy to have that one in the collection. I did get the Scorpion King 4K release from um, the UK. I believe this was a Zavi exclusive. Also another exclusive was Death on the Nile. Really enjoyed this film. I thought it was a lot of fun, so happy to have that one added to the collection. Of course, we got Cabin in, the Cabin in the Woods um, added with a still book with a slip. 
So I added that one to the collection. And so the big release for the month was Spider-Man No Way Home. I did get the Best Buy exclusive still book. Um, very happy that I was able, I was very happy that I was able to get this one. I know a lot of people were having a hard time getting it. Um, and I was actually able to help a few other people out with getting this particular purchase. So I was happy to be able to help those people out. Um, another still book release um, we have for Moonfall, which has another clear slip. Um, again, I need to check out this movie. Then we have this two-pack release. We have Heavy Metal on 4K and then Heavy Metal 2000 on Blu-ray. I need to check these films out. Um, looking forward to seeing those. Heard a lot of great things about the first one. Haven't really heard much about the second one. Then from Shop Factory and Screen Factory, I did get the Ice Demon. A Dark Song. Night Creatures. Meat Cleaver Massacre. The limited edition of Cockfighter. Limited edition of Watcher 2, Watchers 2. And also the limited edition of Doctor Strange. Happy that I was able to get those before they sold out. Some of them may still be available. Um, I got Dead Force, which was going out of print, so I picked it up. In the same way with Full Moon Hide, this is another one that was going out of print, so I was able to pick that one up. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the boutique labels that I picked up during the month. Um, from Vinegar Syndrome, I did get the um, Scream Queen documentary. Heard a lot of great things about this one in regards to A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, so very happy to have that one added to the collection. Um, I also picked up this edition. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. And also the 4K release for Awaken with this nice lenticular slipcover. And then from Imprint Films, I did get the Counterfeit Trader. And also I got Across 110th Street. And then this really nice set for The Wicker Man. So very happy to have those, one, those in the, added to the collection. And then um, I also picked up the Proposition. This right here is the 4K release with this nice um, hard box set. Um, I did enjoy the proposition. I thought it was very well done. Very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, next up, um, I did get um, Death Game. This right here is from Grindhouse. Um, really nice looking box set. Also, I got the Beyond with the glow in the dark slip from Grindhouse. And then from Synapse, I got the Kindred Steelbook Edition. And also, um, I picked up Tombs of the Blind Dead. So actually, I had someone pick this up for me when they went to a horror convention. So I appreciate Brad for picking these up for me. Okay, from Arrow Video, I did get the 4K release for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Looking forward to checking this one out. I also got Death Screams with a slipcover. Um, Dementor. I got the Ring collection with um, all um, three films included. I also got Mary Shelley's Frankenstein Steelbook release. I love the Arrow Steelbook, so very happy to have that one. I got the 4K release for Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. And of course, I got the 4K release for Robocop. Really enjoy Robocop. Very happy that we have an upgrade of a 4K disc for this. So very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, from Eureka, I did pick up three monster tales um, of sci-fi terror. So very happy to have that one. I also got Dreadnought. And I got Knockabout. Really like these releases of the Asian cinema. From Indicator, I did get the Triple Echo. Breakout, The Wild One, Hardcore, The New Centurions, Experiment in Terror, and then I also got Cannibal, um, Cannibal Ferox. This right here is another Grindhouse release, I do believe, so happy to have that one added to the collection. Okay, from Classic Flicks, they did have a sale going on. I got Along Came Jones, Black Magic, um, Casanova Brown, Crime of Passion, Down Three Dark Streets, 
Five Steps to Danger, He Walked by Night, Tomorrow is Forever, The Noose Hangs High, The Killer is Loose, The Abbott and Costello Show Season 1, um, John Alton Film Noir Collection, and the complete series for It's About Time on DVD. Okay, another purchase that I made from Orbit DVD were some Studio Canal releases. I did get this really nice set for Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Really nice looking um, contents in this box set. Of course, it does have a vinyl included, so very happy to have that one. And I also picked up this one called Breathless. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this film. I never actually had it in the collection. So very happy that I was able to add these two to my collection. So something else that was going on during the month of April was the Kino Lorber sale. I did a lot of shopping on Kino Lorber, a lot of the sale titles and some of the regular titles that I wanted to add to the collection. I did get the Tony Curtis collection um, with these three films included. The Cary Grant collection that have these three films. The Rock Hudson Collection with these three films. I also got the complete collection for Buck Rogers in, in the 25th century. I've been wanting to add this set to the collection so I finally bit the bullet and bought that one. And then we got um, Nightmare City here with a slip. Um, Zoot Suit with a slip. Breakout. Grand Slam in the Heat of the Night 4K. I got this double pack for the Abominable Dr. Phoebes and Dr. Phoebes Rides Again. The Puppet Masters. Tentacles. New Year's Evil. Old Ironsides. RKO Classics Romances, RKO Classic Romances, RKO Classic Adventures, Violent Professionals, Trouble Bound, The Land That Time Forgot, Chomps, Night Terror, Space Raiders, Standalone, Baby Blood, Dinosaurs, The Land Unknown, Scavenger Hunt, The Taken of Pelham 123, Bat 21, The Night Strangler, The Night Stalker, Revenge of the Shogun Women in 3D. The Trip to Bountiful, Twelve Angry Men, Mississippi Burning, The Oxbow Incident, A Fistful of Dynamite, Bird on a Wire, Adio Sabata, Masquerade, Apache, Career Opportunities, The Day After, Three Bad Men, 23 Paces to Baker Street, Link, Spetters, Nightmare Beach, Wanted Dead or Alive, Dragnet, The Bigamist, The Man Who Died Twice, I Jane Doe, Driftwood, Dakota, 1492 Conquest of Paradise, Pasolini, Cannibal Apocalypse, Sudden Terror, Thirst, A Woman's Devotion, Trigger Jr., Tiger by the Tail, Those Daring Young Men and Their Jaunted Jalopies, 
Sunset in the West, A Strange Adventure, The Psychopath, Phobia, Papa's Delicate Condition, and The Optimist. So like I said, there were a lot of keynote titles that I picked up during the sale. i um, very happy that I was able to add all of these to the collection. Um, hopefully you were able to add all the things that you wanted during the month of April. Um, I know that I um, overspent as I usually typically do, um, but I do know that May has a lot of great titles coming out. So I'm looking forward to picking those up. But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what to think about this particular um, haul for the month of April. Let me know which titles you were able to pick up and maybe some of your suggestions of what you think I should check out on all of these titles that I picked up. I really do um, enjoy your recommendations and your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.